welcome back. Today, Josh and I are talking about this big honkin' generator right here. Actually, Mark. Yes. This is not that big of a generator no? for 6,500 watts. You're, actually, you're right. This isn't that big because I have a 55 at home, and now that you mention it, it's considerably bigger than this. A lot bigger, actually. Yeah, no, it is. So this is the Q65. So 65, that's, that's big. Yeah, 6,500 watt generator. This is the Quiet Power Series, uh, the Briggs & Stratton. Um, we got an opportunity to test this out on a whole bunch of locations. Yep. Um, we build a shed every year. I didn't, year. but he did. I yeah, don't do that kind of Of course, work. I do. They don't let me do any real work. I let Mark sometimes. <laughs> so we get an opportunity to test this on a lot of applications, and one of them is we build a shed every year. Um, we did it down in another state this year, and we shipped this bad boy down there. And this thing powered all, all the equipment there. It was really cool. So it was really cool to see because this has the inverter in it. Oh, so it's clean. It's yeah, got the so clean, it does the sensitive tech, right. you know, the sensitive stuff, tablets, yeah. iPads, iPhones, computers. So in a regular generator, if you don't have an inverter, a regular generator, the the whatever, the, the waves, it's really not clean. Sine they call waves it, yeah, power, they yeah. call it it's not clean energy, and if you have to hook up like your your smartphone or something to it, it can actually damage it. Yes. But yeah. with an inverter, you don't have that problem. Yeah, you can run your refrigerator, so you can use this thing for a house. And that's a good point, too, because, yeah, nowadays, people, sometimes people are hooking up their old generators to their house, while almost every appliance in your house has electronics in it. I don't even know if you can buy something without electronics. Yeah. Well, and, how, and uh, with all the high electronics we use these days and these compressors and everything, this will not damage it because you can use this for a backup unit, right. yeah. which is really exactly. nice. So. Yep. Um, this one's 60% quieter than your standard generator in this size out there. Uh, it's 30% lighter. This thing is pretty crazy weighted down to only 128 pounds. I mean, that's pretty light Ooh, that without is, fuel. Right. So, that is cheap. Uh, or cheap. That's, that's light because I know mine has got to be 150. 50, I would think at least. At the least. Because I still have a disc. I think, I think he's that's fluffing blown. it a little bit. I've tried I to throw it in it. my truck twice and it was not easy. <laughs> I was over there helping him. So that, what, the other thing is they use all steel on the frame, which is really nice. Or plastic, you mean? Uh, oh, the, the actual frame body oh. is steel, okay. and then they use the plastic, which is really nice. So it doesn't rust, but they get that lightweight down. It's probably um, quieter too. Yeah, it is quieter. So this runs mm -hmm. at 66 decibels at 25% okay. load. So this is suitably and it's, take it, this a is lot a handle. Lighter. Yep, it's got a collapsible handle on it, which it's really nice. It's like mm -hmm. the luggage run through the airport, which is with the eight-inch caster wheels that they run on it. So to get over that rugged train, which is really nice. Um, this does not have electric start. It has the easy pull on it. So, so it's one pull, maybe two pulls, right. and it starts. And it pulls over it, pretty easy. Yeah, it pulls over not beautifully. And the thing is, is that you have to lose the weight somewhere. Right. And for me, that's so somewhere. So maybe that's why it's so much. It's, it's a lot less. That's part of the weight, and right. I would I would lose the electric start to have that yes. for a weight advantage. Yep. So. Um, it does have the 120, 240 volt, 30 amp twist socket sure. that you guys can run in here. Um, it also has four outlets, the 120, 20 amps on one, the GFI. So one, okay, so it's got 20s and 30s? Uh, they're both 20s. Okay. Yeah, and then when you go to the 30, you gotta oh, go, yeah, yeah. you can do 120 or 240 on the 30, yep, which gotcha. is really nice. So, mm -hmm. um, and then they also got the USB port. So oh, let's nice. say your power does go out in the house and you power this up. Now this is obviously, you don't put this in the garage, it's an outdoor generator you put it outside right. but you can at least plug in your electronics to keep things going charge your phone whatever in fact we lost power mark we live sort of by each other we lost power the other night yep. and my wife i was having he a lives on the good side of the street <laughs> <laughs> he's he's uh my wife was having a little bit of a yeah you watched the tree hit free, the i watched the tree yeah. hit it watch the sparks yeah and Did i didn't have, did have it with me <laughs> i almost thought about coming to get it yeah. but my wife's phone was at 10 percent, and she's like oh my gosh i don't know my phone so right. that would have been nice to have to charge it so sure um it's this yeah this what thing is, so it's got the led lights too which is really cool for the power use this is something that I really love. So, so why would you need to know that? So if when you start it, the green light, the light will come on on the LED. It'll let you know that the unit's running, it's got power. And then this is the percentage, 50, 75, 100%. This will actually tell you the load. Right. So let's say you're just running, it says it's running, it's okay. Yeah. And you plug in two items, three items, and then the 50% so if you're comes running on. a big compressor, like two compressors or something yeah. big. Well, or that's what you would do. If you're running appliances. Power, I'd be running the TV. Right. But. <laughs> right. So you, it, let's just say it had a 50% draw. That would let you know that you still have 50% right. go. So gotcha. if you had a 75% draw, you'd have 25% sure. left. So just so you guys do understand too, this is 65 starting watts. It's a consistently running 5,000 watt generator. 
So it starts up at the six because everything has a draw on it. It has right. a large draw, table saw, yeah. saws, compressor, whatever, any compressors, kind of compressors especially. fridges, anything yeah. like that. So it's got the overload reset. So if you do overload it, you can come back out, figure out, What's reset. What's QPT? It. So the QPT, that's the quiet power technology. And you actually turn that on, and that sort of works as a variable speed. It'll actually oh, ramp sure. up and down with yeah. what you're using. So if using. there's very little draw on it, it's not going to be blasting. It's going to stay as low as it can and right. as quiet as it can when it runs. But so. there's multiple levels of that? Yes. It's yep. not just yeah, it's low like a, or... No. Cause mine does low or high but it's just one it's like it's either like idling yep. or blasting yeah I know it's got that variable speed oh, nice. so it'll let that's you know nice. that's very nice yep so there's different s stages that it'll ramp up okay, to that's on there great. so yeah how big, um, is it, how big is the tank? So five gallon tank, that's pretty big. That's, that's really big. actually yep. bigger than Mark's uh, Fiesta, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, close. Uh, too close. It's about what you use in gas in two weeks coming yep. to work. And then also it has the uh, 14 hours. It'll actually run 14 hours at 25% load. Hmm. I mean, it's all, you that's know a, what I mean? Yeah. Four, that's a long time. Yeah, I know. And I mean, you can use these things these days because it has the inverter in it. You can use it for RVs, job sites, food trucks. I've right. seen them on. In fact, we got a food truck around town, around town that has the same exact generator. And I talked to her, and she absolutely loves it. So, yeah, I mean, Briggs, you did an awesome job. We got to tour the plant. Yeah, we last it was a couple summer? months ago. Oh yeah, yeah. it was the summer. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's very impressive. impressive. That was a great tour. Yeah, and, and they, they spent a lot. I mean, they spent a, in the. And talking about the quiet, they spend tons of uh, energy. With, they have this just huge sound system booth, or with all the sound room, yeah. I guess, soundproof room. Yeah. And we talked to that sound engineer for like an hour. Yeah, and this thing <laughs> has state-of-the-art technology. They measure yeah. at different areas um, coming from the sound. They measure at different distances. It's really, yeah. really cool. We got to no, see the Briggs has been house. making engines for, what, 100 years, pretty much? Yeah. And it might be 100 years, I guess. Yeah, pretty close to your age. Yeah. No, great. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time.